Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Better's assignment 4 from module 1 that is Python for data science and the topic is tuples, sets and dictionaries. First, we will solve problem 1 and the problem statement is another measure of average. Mode is defined as the value that appears most often in a set of data values. Mode corresponds to the most frequent value. You are given a list of numbers and you need to calculate the mode of this list. So this is a list containing average daily temperatures over 10 days, right? So I am storing this list in temperatures variable. So if we think here 34 has repeated over 3 times. So this must be a mode, right? So that's what we are going to find. Here step 1. Find the unique set of values. Store this list. Store this in a list, right? First I am going to find the unique set of values. For that purpose I am going to use set of these temperatures. Let me write the in. Yeah. Set of temperatures. So now we got the unique values. What we are going to do, we are going to store this in a list. Just use ut equals to, this is a new variable, ut list of unique temperatures. Right? Let me run this thing. Here I am printing unique temperatures list. We got the list. And the next step is create an empty dictionary which will contain the unique temperatures as keys and their counts in the original temperatures list as values for example here 33 is a key for this here uh, 33 has repeated over two times right that value 2 will be the value of this particular key so that's what we are going to do here here set the values for each key separately here I am using this empty dictionary equals to here I am using curly brackets because uh, to create a dictionary we need to use curly brackets ut of here I am using indexing then here I am assigning a value here I am just taking this thing temperatures dot count of unique temperatures index rate 0 so right what I am just yeah now for second key I am just going to update the empty dictionary so dot update So I'm going to just change uh, here 0 to 1 done for third key I'm going to change 1 to 2 right for fourth key I'm going to change to 3 For fifth key, I am going to change it to four. For sixth key, what I am going to do? I am just going to change it to five. So we are done with this. So I am just going to run this thing. Yeah. Now I am going to just print this dictionary. Yeah. We got this dictionary here 29, 33, these are keys, and 1, 2, 3, these are values. Step 3 store the dictionary values in a list. So I'm going to just type list of this temp underscore dict dot values. Then I'm going to print this thing. 
print out temp underscore date underscore frequencies find the index of most frequent temperature value so i am going to use here max function max count equals to max of this temperature dictionary yeah here most frequent temp de, temperature underscore index right so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this thing dot index of max count max underscore count so now what i'm going to print the index let me print this thing yeah i'm going to run this cell we got the output step 4 create the list of dictionary keys here just type list of temp underscore dict dot keys then print the list of dictionary keys and i'm just going to print this thing done calculate the mode temperature just use this temp underscore dict keys here i'm using square brackets then i'm passing this most frequent temp index that's it yeah i forgot to print this thing let me print this print done yeah 34 here index is 1 so let me show you here 34 has came one time two times and three times and our answer is correct right yeah now we are moving to problem 2 challenging the immutability of tuples we are given a list of tuples you need to replace the last element of the last tuple so tuples are unchangeable right so we are challenging that only so we need to change this last element from this last tuple with 100 so let's start lt equals to list of tuples of uh, here i'm using indexing so this will give me these two tuples in this list here i'm using this operator then list of tuples so so here i'm getting the second this is a uh, index rate 2 right so i'm just passing 2 here in this then so in this we are get we want so first i am taking this two values out right till two or you can just use minus one yeah that's fine so yeah here zero from this also you can think uh, we are getting these values then here i am replacing 70 with uh, 100 right just do this thing 100 comma that's it i am going to print this thing as you can see the output we have changed 70 to 100 so what we are doing first we are getting this values out then i'm just replacing this with 100 now we are moving to problem 3 natural language processing or nlp is one of the most promising fields in machine learning most of the times in nlp we deal with the textual data a bunch of strings sometimes when we are processing the text 
it is a common practice to get rid of some set of stop words from our original list original text by default stop words are very common words used in english language such as and or punctuations etc in this exercise uh, you are provided with a default set of stop words and you need to add some extra set of custom words so these are this is a sentence right first i'm just going to print this thing yeah we got this thing out default set of stop words these are the set of stop words we are having yeah this is a set right update the set of stop words by adding the custom stop word right what i'm going to do here i'm going to use a update method dot update of custom stop words that means i am just uh, adding this stop words in this thing right then i am printing stop words let me print this thing yeah we got it yeah done do the same task another way so we can do one thing so first i am going to do convert uh, this into a list right stop words yeah i'll create another variable let let's write up equals to list of stop words plus custom words yeah let me print this up yeah we got it so what you can do just pass set here that's it you'll get the same output oh my god yeah i forgot this thing that's it problem 4 write a python script to check whether a given key already exists in a dictionary if it does drop that key from the dictionary if it does not add that key and corresponding value to the dictionary so first we are going to check if employee id is present in this particular dictionary or not so as we can see it's not present but let us write this thing employee id id in this thing first i'm just printing this thing oh i forgot to run this thing yeah for it's not present right so if not present add this key to the dictionary and the corresponding value to yeah just i'll create another this dictionary employee id with the value 450323 so i'm going to take this thing dot update let me run this thing yeah mm. let me print and check if it's got updated or not yeah we got updated this employee id in the particular dictionary now check if band is present in the dictionary or not yeah band is present let's do that band in 
this thing right yeah true if present drop this key from the dictionary just use this thing hmm employ dict dot pop yeah just run this thing now we are going to check the dictionary yeah we have removed a band and we are added employee id that's it for now meet you next assignment bye bye